And now to a lot of people, it isn't necessarily the most exciting position group, but we need offensive linemen on the team. They're going to lead the way. They're absolutely imperative to our success. And the first one we're picking up, I think, is a fairly obvious one. He's not all that expensive, 248k for motivator Donald Penn. He's just so valuable because he's such a good left tackle card. 94 run block, 91 pass block, 91 impact block. And he has the motivator for pass block. He's going to do plus two, or excuse me, yeah, plus two pass block to the entire team. 66 speed isn't even all that bad. His acceleration at a 71 isn't terrible. And he's not even going to be pulling. He's a tackle. So, solid card. Really excited to pick him up again. At left guard, I'm rocking with Joel Batonio. 94 overall team of the year. He has the new uh, chemistry, which is uh, lead the way. Do you know the way? Joel Batonio. 87 strength, 92 run block, 93 pass block, 92 impact blocking, 93 awareness. 75 speed is going to uh, be awesome on screens and, and pulling on stuff and counters and all types of different run. And uh, the lead the way is players more likely to succeed when pull or lead blocking. Awesome. I'm so excited to add this card. Skipping over center for a moment. My right guard is going to be team of the year Zach Martin with pound the rock times two. He also has lead the way. 93 strength, 97 run block, 91 pass block, 93 impact blocking, 72 speed. I want my guards to be fast, and he is certainly a fast offensive guard. Pound the rock is awesome. That run block is going to go up even more. He might be able to get up to 99 run block. Pass block is going to get boosted because of motivator Donald Penn. This is one of the best cards in the game. I mean, obviously, he's the best right guard. But, um, I mean, he's certainly not cheap. Cost me a lot. And I just want him now. I could wait until the team of the year offense fully drops. But he should be an expensive card regardless. So I'm just going to get him now. And then at right tackle, I'm going with playoff team captain Jack Conklin. Young offensive tackle has been awesome for the Titans in his two-year career. 88 strength, 93 run block, 95 pass block, 93 impact blocking, 74 speed. Keeping with the speed theme on the offensive line, we got a really fast team. And then not forgetting about center, I'm going for Dwight Stevenson, Madden Blitz version, 439K. We're investing heavily up front with the big boys, and Dwight Stevenson is one of the only non-upgradable centers that has the identified chemistry and it's one that i really really like he's got 90 strength 94 run block 91 pass block 94 impact blocking 70 speed again very fast offensive line and uh, his pass block is going to get boosted this is a very very good o-line let's go ahead and insert the big boys up front donald penn awesome to add him he's already boosted up to a 94 overall boosting himself joel batonio they're going to be chemmed up together, but the uh, that chemistry, which is move the six, doesn't really impact the offensive lineman at all. Center, of course, Dwight Stevenson. He's boosted from Donald Penn, and he will be boosted even more with Zach Martin once they hit Tier 1. And then at right tackle, we're throwing in another fast, younger guy, Jack Conklin. And um, yeah, let's see what Zach Martin's run block goes up to real quick. It's all 98 run block, 93 pass block. <laughs> What a sick team already. Now, there are a bunch of really good tight ends in the game. We got this Tony G from way back when. Such a beast. One of the best tight ends in the game. Uh, Travis Kelsey, not so much. This new team of the year, Gronk, is really sick. Uh, Shannon Sharp is really talented. Bo Jackson, of course. Jimmy Graham. But the player I'm going with is going to be 95 overall. Shannon Sharp. A little bit smaller for your traditional tight ends, but I don't really high point too much. He's 6'2". 88 speed, 86 strength, 83 run block, 95 catching, 93 release, 94 route running, 96 catch in traffic, 90 spectacular catch. He's a phenomenal car. Basically, um, a bigger fullback out there that just catch the ball really well. It doesn't have the spectacular catch, but he is a beast with the ball in his hands. 89 trucking, 81 elusiveness. Very, very solid tight end. I think, in my opinion, the best in the game for what I'm going to use him for. And then it doesn't matter too much who I rock at my tight end number two. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab flashback Martellus Bennett, Marty B. Run him at a backup tight end, obviously. Pound the rock chemistry is impacted at tight end two for whatever reason. I'm not complaining. Decent run blocking on the line tight end. Uh, and I'll probably upgrade it over him at some point. We're just going to throw him in there. So tight end number one, obviously rocking with Shannon Sharp. And then tight end number two. It does impact chemistry. I'm not sure why, 
but it does throw in Marty B there. And um, we are boosting up Pound the Rock quite a bit already. 7 out of 12. Zach Martin might end up with 99 run block. He probably will, in fact. Um, how far are we away from that? Just one tier. I think we're going to be in decent shape if I can hit it. We're going to go actually into the backfield next, and I'm still trying to decide who I want to run at quarterback. I am trying to build around chemistry a little bit. Um, I haven't fully decided on who that QB is, though. I am going to bring back a familiar face at running back, though. He's just the best running back in the game. That's really all I have to say. It's Bo Jackson. Le'Veon Bell actually also dropped. Hold on. I've seen the new Le'Veon Bell. I don't know if I prefer him over Bo, but Bo is cheap. Bo is amazing. How do you not go with Bo? Bo knows. Hold on. 356 for Bo. It's a pretty good price. And then it's like 500 for Le'Veon Bell. Um, I just don't think he's as good. I think Bo Jackson is just, just better. That's, that's really what I'm going to say. 356. Ultimate freeze. Zero chill, whatever you want to say. Bo Jackson starting running back. And I think at quarterback, I'm going to try out this new Andrew Luck. 527K, certainly not cheap for a 94 overall, but it is arguably the most important position on the field at quarterback. He's got toughness times two, so it doesn't really fit. I do want to give him a shot, though. 84 speed, 90 throw power, 91 short, 88 mid, 87 deep, 94 throw on the run. We're going to give him a test drive, see what he can do, see if he fits the team. We'll see how he plays. Otherwise... There aren't really many other quarterbacks that I really like on the auction house, I gotta tell you. I think Aaron Rodgers, maybe? Randall Cunningham, maybe? Other than that, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna plug in Andrew Luck, though, at quarterback. He's not really gonna get boosted at all. But halfback is going to be Bo Nose, Bo Jackson. Halfback number two is, I'm sure, some of you guys are sick of seeing at this point. And that's LaDainian Tomlinson. He's been one of the best for so long in this game. And then halfback number three, we'll throw in my favorite of all time in Adrian Peterson. And I also have halfback number four. Might as well throw rookie premier Leonard Fournette in there at a 91 overall. And then halfback, excuse me, fullback is going to be um, Jerome Bettis. Give me that pound the rock chemistry. So Zach Martin is up to 99 run block. Decent. Something slight. And at my first wide receiver slot, I mean, he's just the best wide receiver in the game. And he goes for 400k. I mean, the only other arguable best wide receiver in the game is a new team of the year, Antonio Brown. But that's like 800k right now. And this Calvin Johnson is just, I mean, snow beast. He's a beast. He's unbelievable. Unreal, you could say. Playmaker ability on him as well. Such a good player. And uh, he will be the uh, main attraction for our receiving core. My next wide receiver is going to be someone that I've used and someone that is really, really good. Used him in the Ken Builder Clash against Chewy, and he was phenomenal. Imagine him and Julio Jones. No, that's Julio Jones. Him and Calvin Johnson on the same team. 94 speed, 92 catching, 95 spectacular catch, 94 release, 92 route running, 91 catching traffic. He basically is Calvin. I know he looks a little bit worse. Um, or he looks a lot worse, but he is plus one speed. Minus three catch, elusiveness is fairly irrelevant to me. Minus two spec catch, same release, same route running, minus one catch in traffic, minus two jumping. Very, very similar cards. Is Julio still a beast? But that just goes to show you how insane that Calvin Johnson is. And then bring back another familiar face. 93 overall Odell Beckham Jr. Card run blocks surprisingly well. Uh, it has a surprisingly high run blocking rating, which is probably the reason behind that. He's significantly worse than I think our other options. Uh, looks a little bit closer to Julio. But, you know, against Calvin, he just gets shut out. Because um, route running, decent, but release is a little bit low. Catching traffic's a little bit low. Speed isn't the highest, but he's one of my favorite players in the NFL. I'm a Giants fan. Gotta throw him in there. And then our last receiver is someone that I want to give a shot to. Been one of the best receivers when he's actually on the field. And that is going to be flashback. Josh Gordon, 93 speed, 92 catching, 90 elusiveness, 94 spectacular catch, 92 release, 87 route running, 89 catch in traffic. So we don't exactly have the best route running out here in terms of uh, these receivers, but they're certainly not bad. Um, Josh Gordon just happens to be the weak link in that department. 
He'll make for a really solid wide receiver number four, though, and that's going to be the offense built. Throwing everyone into their correct positions now. I already do have Stefan Diggs in 91 uh, power up at that wide receiver number five. He has just not gotten an upgrade in ages, so that's proven to be not an extremely valuable use of coins, but I've played the market so well this year. I have so many coins, so it's not really a huge concern of mine. Uh, the, you know, I, I wasted some coins doing the power up for a card I don't really use in Stefan Diggs. He makes every team. He just doesn't really see the field all that much. But this is the offense done. The offensive line is sick. Receiver sick. Backfield, pretty sick. Tight end group, very solid as well. And since I already have the powered up version of Deion Jones, I might as well spend the coins, get 389k for his 92 overall version, and then send that through the power up set. Now it is a very decent amount of coins to be spending. Uh, I'm aware of that on a power up, I can't necessarily get these coins back at any time. Um, but for the time being, it will work. Uh, and it will accomplish what I want, which is unfakeable, decent chemistry. It's not as useful as it once was, but it still is a good chemistry. Deion Jones is an incredible player, and it is a good reason to get him. 91 speed, 89 zone. Can get him up to 91 zone, which will be solid. Incredible speed, hit power, pursuit, block shed is decent. I mean, he's pretty much everything you'd want in a middle linebacker, user or otherwise. And on the defensive side of the ball, and things could change by the time the gameplay actually comes out, um, but you guys do know, or should know, that I pulled non-auctionable, non-tradable, Team of the Year Landon Collins, the one card I could have asked for, I have the power-up version here, so when the power-up set drops, I will have the 97 overall Landon Collins, but for now we're going to plug in the 96, that is one of the few um, upgradable players that I have, uh, and the other one is at cornerback number one, we have 94 Darius Slay. At free safety, since I do like to run players I like over necessarily the best players in the position possible, Earl Thomas, one of my favorites in the NFL, has been for a while. He's my second uh, favorite active player. He plugs in a free safety very nicely. And then at cornerback number four, we actually do have another one, and that is going to be free safety, limited time Calvin Johnson, who will play basically middle linebacker when I run 4-6 speed. So very, very good user, very solid. Um, and pretty much I only have the upgradables for defense, just kind of the way it worked out. I also have this 93 overall Deion Jones upgrade for my middle linebacker spot. So already a pretty lethal looking team. We're going to start the real part of the defense with the linebacking core. And this is a familiar face. I did sell him because I knew his price would plummet. And it did, but I'm going with a personal favorite of mine. Didn't get to see him play, um, but New York Giant legend. So I am going to be throwing him into the team. Uh, one of the most dominant players in NFL history. And I can pick him up for a nice 310k. That's actually a pretty solid price for him. So he's going to be playing right outside linebacker. And I am super excited to pick this card up again. 88 speed, 94 power move, 92 block shed, 95 hit power, 90 finesse move even. I think he has like... 80-something zone. It doesn't really particularly matter because he will be rushing the passer. Um, but yeah, fantastic card. I'll show you guys the uh, attributes of the other uh, cards that were the power-up that, uh, that I already have in the team. At my second middle linebacker spot, this one is already set in stone, and it is a very expensive player. And it will be flashback Ryan Shazier, costing me 400 k in order to pick him up and add him to the squad, but he's going to be worth every penny. 92 speed, 91 hit power, 94 pursuit, 92 tackle, 88 block shed. This is a user if I've ever seen one. 80 catching as well. You just wish he was maybe a bit taller. Could jump a bit higher. What's his jumping? His jumping, I think, is decently high. 95, yeah. So, I mean, pretty much the height doesn't matter as much with that 95 jumping. But he is a fantastic card. Awesome user. He's going to slot into the team very nicely. And then if you've known me for a while... You probably know who is going to be playing left outside linebacker for the squad. It is a fairly obvious one and a fairly expensive one at that. And that is going to be team of the year, Khalil Mack, 700k in order to add him to the team. Has the new under pressure chemistry, which is kind of cool. Also fits the physical front mold. 88 speed, 95 block shed, 92 power move, 96 finesse move. 93 hit power, 95 tackle. He's got 86 strength. We will be powering up. He is one of my favorite players in the NFL. 
Gotta have him. And uh, what's your zone coverage, just out of curiosity? He has 82 zone. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. He'll likely really never be in zone coverage. But it's nice to have it be at least uh, a little bit high when he gets to those scenarios. But, uh, yeah, I haven't built the offense yet. You guys have probably seen this at a different time. The offense, you would have already seen, probably. Let's go ahead and get these players into the team. You guys already saw the stats of Lawrence Taylor. You saw the stats of Ryan Shazier, or the attributes, rather. Uh, I, I say stats. I mean, it is what it is. And then left outside linebacker. You've seen Khalil Mack. Dominant, dominant player. Uh, and the attributes for Landon Collins. And these will change as he does get his uh, power up. But 91 speed, 94 zone, 96 head power, really all you need to worry about. He's got 88 block shed as well when he's all the way chemmed up. Um, Earl Thomas, again, really just running him because he's one of my favorite players. 90 speed, 93 zone, 89 head power. He is a solid card, just, you know, not necessarily the best at the position. Big play slay, another guy I really love. 94 speed, 93 man, 93 zone. 86 press leads a little bit to be desired. Solid cornerback with fantastic speed. And then, of course, Calvin. The user god, honestly, 92 speed at 6 foot 5, 93 catching, 93 zone. You can do anything you want with this card. Unreal player. Let's go ahead and assemble the rest of the secondary, though. Kind of a lot of players to get. And I have the coins, and this team's not going to be cheap. So the next card we're picking up is going to be 96 overall, Casey Hayward. Another team of the year. He also has the pick six cam like Darius. Big play Slay has. Also fits the physical front mold that we're building. 90 speed leaves a little bit to be desired, but his coverages certainly do not. 90 acceleration, 94 man, 97 zone, 96 press. Really, really solid cornerback here, and he'll be a good pairing to Darius Slay. Even though it doesn't matter much in the game, we're going to go with the nice little Lions link and get one of these limited dick night train lanes. I don't, I'm not really going to call him night train. It's dick lane. Let's be, let's be real. Unless it goes into a title, in which case, all right, it's night train. But 93 speed, 94 zone, 92 press, 90 man. He does what I want him to do, um, and that is basically have 91 plus zone. He has secure tackler as well, which is a really, really nice chem for a cornerback. And I actually forgot to pick up the last cornerback. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. A card that probably isn't nearly as expensive as it should be. This Mel Blunt card is phenomenal. 90 speed, 93 man, 90 zone is going to get boosted a little bit because of his chemistry. 91 press. When you look at Mel Blunt. I mean, you think one thing, and that's hit power. Mel Blunt absolutely lit people up. He has 80 hit power, so solid for a cornerback. His block shed's at 78, which is nice. Really, really solid card. We're going to pick him up for 205K. So cornerback number two is going to be that 96 team of the year, Casey Hayward. And then that nickel cornerback with secure tackler. Really a perfect spot for Dick. Night train lane. Fits in there really nicely. And then if he ever gets into the game, which likely he will at one point or another, 93 Mel Blunt, going to be a special teams beast at least. Cheap card. I know I'm rhyming out here. Don't really mean to be doing that. Uh, but he does get up to 91 zone. That's really all I needed him to do. So great card there. The cornerback group is stacked. Really, really nice. I just absolutely love this team. I built it already on Mudhead, and it, it just is such a solid squad. Obviously, I mean, I have the coins. I might as well. But uh, now, to the defensive line. We're going to start over at right end and pick up, in my opinion, one of the best cards in the entire game. He doesn't really even go for that much considering what he brings to the table. Very, very good player. Incredible attributes. This is 95 NFL playoff, like, team captain Cam Jordan. He's got battle ready, which is interesting for those tackle battles. Um, but he has 80 speed, which is decent speed for the edge. 94 block shed, 95 power move, 85 finesse move isn't even bad, 94 tackle, 93 play rec. Very, very solid card. Going to fit in really nicely on that right edge. We could bring Lawrence Taylor down. That's what's going to happen. Cam Jordan's going to kick inside, and we're going to play kind of a 3-4 look along with 4-6. We're going to figure out what exactly is going to work the best. Uh, if I can do 3-4 and 4-6 combo, that's what I want to do. Um, get all my best players in their best positions to succeed all the time. Kicking it inside a defensive tackle, we're going with another Team of the Year player, and that is going to be Team of the Year Geno Atkins, picking him up for a little bit less than 200k. Very solid card, and um, he fits the chemistry style as well, times two, 
to um, read and react there, which works pretty well. But 78 speed, 90 block shed, 94 power move. That's really what you're looking for. 90 pursuit as well, 90 tackle. Solid defensive tackle. It's going to be absolutely fantastic for our team. And then picking up another familiar face, it's going to be John Randall. 95 John Randall, that is. Picking him up for, what was that, 363K. Solid. He's got that chemistry physical front, which is going to help us boost his block shed. So that is going to be over a 90. 82 speed, 88 block shed, 91 power move, 95 finesse move. Really wanted a finesse move defensive tackle because I know just how lethal finesse move is in this game. He's awesome. He's got the speed. He's got the block shed where he will. He's got the pursuit. He's got the finesse move. Really, really solid card. One of the best undrafted players in NFL history, if not the best. And then the last card on the defensive line, uh, and I will buy backups to play these positions. It's going to be Aaron Donald. 490k is going to add in the 280 pound right end onto our team. I know he's listed as left end. He hasn't played that in real life. He plays 3-4 right end. It is what it is. 83 speed is fantastic. 94 strength, 94 tackle, 94 block shed, 95 power move, 88 finesse move, which I think will be boosted a bit from blanket coverage if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's going to hit 90, but it might be pretty close. Really, really solid card. Let's go ahead and add this defensive line into our team. Right end is going to be Cameron Jordan. You guys saw the stats of all of these uh, cards already, the attributes, and everyone complements each other really, really nicely. John Randall going to be that defensive tackle number one. And Geno Atkins probably will see the field the least out of everyone on the defensive line. Uh, if I can figure out what scheme I want to play exactly. In the 4-6, he's going to play a lot. So we did want a good player to play in that spot. And then left end, Aaron Donald. I sound like Dr. fucking Seuss in this video. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, team is looking absolutely stacked. John Randall fits in. Cam Jordan fits in. We have 14 out of 12 on physical front. But it's all right. We're boosting everybody up. And then Aaron Donald, does it boost finesse move? I'm not sure. I think it does. I'm not positive. What is it? It is a uh, tier one of, did I miss it? It's tier one of, yeah, blanket covers, there he goes. Finesse move is the next one. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get that. I really don't care, um, but it'd be kind of nice. And the plus one press for Darius Slay would also be kind of cool. Maybe I'll go a different defensive tackle in the future. Um, but we went Geno Atkins for right now, which I'm not too concerned about. Boosts up uh, the zone coverage and the power move. So Geno Atkins is now going to see uh, an increased power move. His power move is going to be at uh, at 95. So, I mean, really solid card. These guys are looking solid. I don't know if I want to start Deion Jones or Ryan Shazier. Probably going to be Deion Jones, but this Shazier is an absolute monster. Now with boosted zone coverage, Deion Jones will have 91+. plus. Uh, it's at 90. Oh, shoot. Is it not? I'll have to use her that card. Though. That's not too bad. I was probably going to use her anyway and let Calvin lurk around. Um, but yeah, super solid squad. If I could replace anyone, it might be um, one of the linebackers. I, I don't... One of the middle linebackers. I'm not sure. I really like what squad we have going. I like the players in the team. I'm going to add backups. I have a bunch of Nat players that I can throw in there. Like uh, T-Sizzle, going to be great in pass rushing situations. Add Steve Atwater. I mean, this is a sick, sick team. Shit, don't